ahead and apply those textures to our object here. Now these are the ones that InstaLod baked that I took into Painter, but I want to go ahead and I'm going to hold down the space bar. We're going to go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. I'm going to add a Stingray PBS shader. I'm going to control, double click, and we'll call that Pistol Matte. With all these objects selected, I'm going to right click Pistol Matte, assign material to selection, I'm going to go up here to edit, delete unused nodes, and now I've cleared my scene out. So now that one material is assigned to my entire object here. If I select any one of these, I can go to my attribute editor. We'll go over to pistol mat, and this is going to be where we can start plugging our stuff in. So we're going to use, I'm not sure if we're going to use a color mat. We have our base color here, so we'll see how that works out. But I'm going to turn on normal, metallic, roughness, emissive, and AO. For the base color here, let's go to file, click the folder. Let's go to view, details. And we'll just uh, put in that base color there. Let's go back one using this button. And that was a base color attribute, so I might have to kill that connection, but we're going to go in here. Let's go ahead and plug it into the color map and go back one for the normal map. Go ahead and plug that in. Metallic. Roughness. Emissive. AO. Now the AO map wasn't exported, but I can go back down here to the install odd folder. We can just plug in that ambient occlusion. And it looks like base color here. I'm going to right click this and go ahead and break connections. And we'll turn on use color map. There we go. Our normal map looks kind of weird. So I'm going to go into the normal map here. We're going to change from sRGB to raw. And what we can do to maybe fix this is I'm going to select one of these objects here and we're going to go to the body. Oh, in this case we have the body selected. I'm going to go to the shape node and underneath the tangent space we do from right-handed to left-handed. That seems to go ahead and clear this up a little bit. Let's see if we can make this global here. Oh, this is just for the hammer. So we need to change this all to left-handed it looks like. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And if you remember back when we were in InstaLod and we were in the scroll up here. We're in the bake output settings. Uh, this normalized TS per fragment. If we were going to re-render this in Maya, we would want to turn this on and we would want to turn by normal per fragment off if we're going to, you know, render in Maya uh, natively. But that seemed to go ahead and fix it here for us. So now that we have this all set up, let's talk a little bit about LODs.